full moons can be so exposing to you when you are going through something or when you're feeling something or you feel like there's a catastrophic ending to the world. And so this super full moon is super potent and powerful. And I don't say this about every full moon. In fact, I don't really find like full moons that extravagant if I'm being honest, but this full moon has a really potent energy opening that if you can take advantage of it and you can really utilize this time to anchor in the future that you're wanting to harness, that you're wanting to create, that you're wanting to cultivate, it can be such a potent time. So I want to make a quick channeled video on this. My name is Ella Ringrose and it is currently the 18th when I filmed this video, which is the time of um, the full moon. And the reason I decided to do this today was because I was feeling it all day and I really kept hearing the words, the veil is open. Open. And, and what I mean by that is that we must first anchor in and understand that every part of our body is emanating in source energy. Every part of it. The only part that is disconnected from source, from the highest, greatest consciousness of love, of light, is the mind. So truly, the way to create a reality, a life, an experience that is so nourishing, so fulfilling to your soul, to your body, to your heart, whatever you're desiring to cultivate, to grasp in your reality right now, whatever you're moving through, whatever you're struggling with, it's so key and vital firstly to understand that you deserve to be on the other side of this. Meaning whatever you are moving through, whatever you are feeling, whatever you are being challenged with, it is not to hibernate and to feel and get lost in it. It is to hold your North Star of what is it I'm wanting to move out into? What am I wanting to alchemize it into? I'm giving an example. Let's say you're struggling in your job and you're really in this place of just feeling like the walls are coming in, you're in survival, you're in fear, you're in scarcity. Maybe you've let go of your dreams. You just feel like what is going on with my life? I want you to imagine these walls are stretching open. They're not coming in on you, baby girl, baby boy. <laughs> They're opening. And with that opening, what you're truly allowing is this white light in your body to emanate and be the reminder, the crack in the crevices of going, I was always here. Uh, the light within me was always here, always guiding me, always loving me. Because whatever is challenging us in our external world, whatever is coming up in us, it is not for us to feel defeated or to feel powerless, but it is to actually understand that that light, that source, that power, that energizing um, force, that you know voice that you're wanting to share, whatever it is you're wanting to do, resides within you. And so sometimes we have these experiences that make the walls go in. And the last part place we have to look is within ourselves. But when you allow and realize that the environment and everything around you and life is really trying to cooperate with you and you understand that and you choose to see the light within yourself and the doors and the walls start opening, you'll start to realize that the source, the power was within you. And this full moon is opening the gateway so that you can truly reveal and mirror and reflect who you always have been, which is of source energy, which is of love, which is of power. And we give so much of our energy to our insecurities, to our fears, to our, um, you know, belief systems that are not serving us. We give so much of our light to it thinking that that is our truth, that that is what controls us, right? If you have a belief of I'm not powerful, I'm weak, or I'm broke, or I'm ugly, or I'm unhealthy, those belief systems, we give so much of our beautiful light to them and expand them and believe that they are true, which is not the case at all. So what you're being invited to do is to reconnect back in with your divinity, reconnect back with your source, if that's going for a swim, if that's reading, if that's journaling, if that's prayer, Fully communing within yourself is where you find that inner click and that inner resonance. And with that space activated, you start to realize that you always held the power. It was never about these thoughts and these fears and these limitations. You were giving your light to them. And with that, you also realize that they're all just an illusion. And with that, you've reclaimed your power. You've reclaimed your sovereignty. So whatever you are moving through, it is not about sticking in it, getting lost in it. It is about remembering who the frick you are and letting that be the submerging, the awakening, the arising, the phoenix from the ashes of whatever you are experiencing right now, because full moons will pull that out of you, not to bring you deeper into it, but to allow you to reflect on who you truly are. 
that is the gift of full moons. That is the gift of heightened emotions. That is the gift of life is when we feel we are coming at a breaking point, it is because there is an alchemization. There is a huge breakthrough on the other side. It's just that we cannot see it with our physical minds because it's the only part that's disconnected from source. It literally lives in a scarce reality. And so it's open to all these thought forms that are un of serving, uh, like unservingness. So when we really anchor in and realize that the power is not in our thoughts, but how we can control our thoughts and fully align them with who we know we are. And that takes practice, that takes rewiring. And what I wanted to share is that I've created a higher self meditation to fully connect with your divinity every day, to connect to your power, to connect to the co-creation of your reality because when we anchor in the belief systems, when we anchor in the thoughts that are in full alignment with our highest power, with our highest truth, any emotion, any thought that comes our way that is not like a supporting the vision we're wanting to cultivate or create in our lives or the values we've put on our hearts, it's truly going to like whoosh, put it out like sovereignty. I see it as like a sword cutting anything that no longer serves. Okay, so I really wanted to make this video to share that with you because the meditation down below is to fully like wake you up to remember who you are every day. It's something you can connect to every day. It was fully channeled when I went for this long walk earlier, understanding like the seed of where we come from. We were created in immaculate perfection. We were co created in the most utmost love and perfection. And if we can harness that energy every day and if we can harness that remembrance within every person on earth, every sovereign being that we were created in perfection and love, there's nothing to fix, there's nothing to heal, there's nothing to change. What we're truly doing <laughs> is we are birthing a completely new world. We're birthing a completely new reality. So this meditation is not only serving you or your heart or your dreams, but it's also serving your brothers and sisters, everyone around the planet who is wanting to come together and remember the truth of who we are, which is of love and then allowing that to be the creation of this world, okay? So I'm gonna encourage you to check that out down below. I'm sending you all my love and light. Have a beautiful full moon. And if you wanna comment down below any video recommendations, I'm all for that. So sending you love.